Hello everyone. We are here to talk about all the updates that we have at Botun. Very exciting about everything that happened the month of September and very energized for everything that happened also in the events that we attended during this last month. So let's get started. Today we do it in a different format. So we were trying X space, but uh, logistically it's a nightmare because uh, it fails a lot. So we decide to go better with specific videos that you can see in YouTube at any time. So I think that that will be a much um, useful time for everyone. Uh, it will also give us the opportunity to bring you or to provide answers to everyone in English and in Spanish. Uh, so let's get started and let me let you or, or answer all the questions that you sent us over these, these last two days. So in terms of updates, the first ones that I have are really with uh, the TGE uh, that is and the airdrop that everyone is, is asking about that. So TGE is coming. Uh, so uh, we are still looking for the right time depending on market conditions, but we are almost ready to go. Uh, we have been negotiating with top exchanges to basically finalize the details. Uh, I don't I cannot, I don't think that is is worth it to share the exchanges in which we will be launching because until that is completely closed and also until the dates are completely confirmed. But um, things are approaching and we are excited to, to see how that finally is coming. So from that point of view, uh, just to be patient, I think that we just need to be uh, or wait at the right time because this is uh, a long run. We don't need to hurry, so we don't need to hurry. That we are in good hands, the platform is growing, the community is growing, so we are doing the right things. So just the, the TG, we just need to um, confirm when the time is, is right. So just um, keep calm, things are coming, so uh, just keep um, stay alert for all the days that we will provide in on, on that. And regarding the airdrop, so after we announced that the Shuriken or the Bottom Dojo uh, was splitting from the project. Uh, we are uh, we take the snapshot of that uh, of all the points and everything that were uh, they were together through through that game, and we are closing the airdrop season two for bottom. So together with the silly activities, developer activities, and all the players of the bottom dojo, we are really excited to to say that more than 50,000 people are going to uh, be part of this airdrop. Uh, so it's, it's a huge growth from season one. So we are doing the right things. We are really excited about all the people that are going to be excited about being part of the bottom community. From that point of view, uh, I think that are really good news. The good uh, news also is that this airdrop uh, season are going to continue. So next week we will start Botun airdrop season three, and in parallel, Shuriken just by their own, they are launching their first airdrop season. They are going to launch their Shuri token season uh, in parallel with the other one. So Botun will be really focused on Thili and developer activities. That is our core, and Shuriken will be a different. Uh, game for all of you guys to basically do a different farming on a gaming project that is going to be, I am pretty sure, very successful. Um, what else uh, I can I can mention on on our front? Um, in terms of the the product itself, um, I am really excited. We already communicate about that, but I am really excited to see how we are progressing with that. About the features that we have right now in our platform that's called open projects this feature is basically for everyone in the platform that can join or propose their own projects but also join other projects to basically start working with other peers on that specific project we are getting sponsors for these open projects you will see those very soon that means that the people that are be, that will be working in this open project, and some of them, they are going to be able to make money with them and building something that is going to be 
mean to be on production? Are these going to serve the whole Web3 community? We are getting collaborations with specific uh, blockchains in order to build these products. So that is going to be great. So if you are a developer, you really need to uh, upgrade your, your game in the sense to be active in the platform. So when we post these kind of projects and you try to join us, uh, we can select you to work on these projects and you will be able to make money with that and, and also participate in a, in a really uh, live exercise of building a specific project for one of the blockchains that we'll be collaborating with. So really excited about open projects. Um, if you are a developer, and be sure that you, your bio is up to date and you are active in the platform because these, these opportunities are coming very soon and I think that are going to be great for also the, the professional opportunities that we can bring uh, through the platform. Related with that, we are working also on certifying even more the your skills. So right now you know that you have different levels like apprentice, ninja, and say. We are going to certify those this knowledge in a more specific way. So third parties, so other people that are looking for your talent uh, can see exactly how you are you know, in terms of the skills and, and Web3 and performance or, or capacities. So from that point of view, that is something that we'll be putting into production in the coming months. Uh, these certifications, so everybody knows that what you are capable of, that is, I think, what uh, obviously is going to benefit a lot of the, the developers that are working on, on the platform. The second part of, um, of that is um, we are really focusing on continuing growing our community. We are continuing really active with hackathons, so I really um, as you to join the ones that we are doing. Right now, there is a global hackathon, in this case, is for women. So most of the teams need to have, well, all the teams need to have at least 60% of women, but there is also open to everyone. Uh, and there are amazing uh, awards. Uh, there are like $10,000 in, in money uh, from that is coming from Arbitrum that is sponsoring this hackathon. There are like $15,000 in services that also we are giving through the winners. And this is a, a huge learning opportunity. It's last month. I think that they are still getting people joining the the hackathon until the 10th of October. So if you are interested, uh, go to our website and register because there is a lot of things and learnings that are coming from this hackathon. Besides that, we continue to work in different workshops. Today we are doing one in Madrid, another one in Barcelona. Um, we are really active on, on basically reaching out to other communities to explain what is our our uh, proposal, how developers can take advantage of Votum, etc. So if you see also some opportunity and you know of uh, on your school or your, uh, uh, with your peers, other developers, that you think that it will be beneficial to put something together, please let us know and we can try to figure out how to make that happen. Uh, and finally, just in terms of uh, the events that we have been attending this month, we are really, really happy to be uh, to attend uh, Singapore Token 2049. It's the biggest crypto of the year. Uh, has been amazing in terms of contacts and networking and potential partnerships that we we are coming that we are bringing from from that event. So more news um, in the close close future. We are really uh, finding really great partners to. Uh, enlarge and make better our developer ecosystem. So we we'll let you know as soon as we are closing those deals and, and letting uh, uh, you know how that is going to impact us uh, positively. We have been also participating in the European Blockchain Convention. And now we are also participating in the Merge Madrid. That is like a, another convention related the, that is trying to, to put together uh, the communities from Latin and, and Spain in the technology and web three uh, space. Um, so we are in, well, say, being part of these events that we think that make sense to enlarge our ecosystem and really find partners that they don't know us yet and they can help us on, on grow uh, the level of services and opportunities that we bring to our community and our developers. So now to move a little bit forward, let's go with the questions. Scadrial, uh, he asked me, 
TG Exchange Collaborations Snapshot Season 3. <laughs> very, very Telegram oriented this this question. Uh, TG, I already explained it, is coming, so be patient. Uh, we are working on that part. Exchanges, yes, we are talking with several top, six, uh, top uh, exchanges. So as soon as we, we close those deals and finalize the details, we will let you know. Um, can share the specific just yet, I, uh, but what we are really focusing on is on to be sure that we assure liquidity and accessibility to our community. For me, those are the two biggest priorities. So we need to be uh, very diligent on choosing the right partners from, from the token launch. And that is what we are right now. Um, the snapshot season three. So I already mentioned uh, airdrop season two has finished. We take the snapshot, the rewards will, will be announced in very, very soon. Very, very soon is like maybe today, tomorrow, or something like that. So uh, I will keep you posted. Uh, check the, the the Telegram and Twitter channels to for more updates. And season three is coming. So next week we will be announcing when the season three for Motor is, is coming. In parallel, I mentioned that the season one for Shuriken is going to start also. Um, so yeah. Be be aware that more uh, more in drop opportunities are coming your way. Nadi, uh, when is the next pre-sale? Uh, good question. We are not in a rush. We think that uh, what we need to be finishing is the final dates for our TG and the, the deals with the exchanges. And when that is done, we will be announcing a pre-sale for our community. Our intention is always that our community get uh, the opportunity to benefit in the same way that other investors so from us for us that is one of the priorities of the project and as soon as we finalize all the details on the, on the launch of the token we will be planning the the, the pre-sale for all of, all of you guys so um similar to the be patient we are working on that we didn't forget we are going to to allow the community to participate on the token launch so yeah i will I, we will give you more updates as soon as we, we have them. Bane, uh, say, what updates can you share with, shooting, with the shooting community? Um, this one is not our community anymore, uh, but you are in a really good hands. The, the Shuriken team is great, and they are doing a lot of updates, or they are going, they are planning a lot of new things. So I really, uh, recommend you to follow their twitter and telegram accounts they will be communicating through that they want to launch this uh, shuri token very soon they have like new games in the pipeline they are really looking at position themselves as a, a great uh, telegram studio to produce out of games and out of excitement for all the all the community users that they can grab so yeah um and definitely follow what the shuri can game is going to going to do in a, a close future. Florencia, uh, has the second season of the drop end? Will there be a third? When is the TG for the bottom and sure again? So we answer most of these questions. I don't repeat myself. Yeah, second reason, second season has end. It's going to be a third one. Uh, the for what I already mentioned a couple of times and for the shuriken I know that they want to go fast so uh, I recommend you to really uh, keep an eye on on the shuriken channels um other question from Florencia upcoming events collaborations tech updates and token BTN, BTN token investing so events I mentioned that part collaborations uh, we will be announcing a lot of collaborations in these coming months and just because we are bringing a lot of contacts from the token 2049 and a lot of really interesting companies and blockchains that want to be part of what we are building in bottom. So from that point of view, we will let you know. Um, we are also uh, trying to, to engage with specific influencers uh, that are more targeting the kind of uh, project that we are doing. I think that, you know, there are influencers that talk about everything in crypto. There are other ones that talk only about gaming. There are ones that are talking only about DeFi. We are trying to identify this, this kind of uh, KOLs that are really make sense for, for us and to, to, be, uh, to establish this kind of collaborations with them to be sure that they know and they promote our, our project uh, widely. 
And then we have another question, uh, BTN token vesting. So we didn't change the vesting for BTN token. And uh, if it's something will change in the or if something will happen, we will let you know. Once again, our intention is always to prioritize the community. So from that point of view, if something changes, it will be in your benefit and never in the other way around. So I hope that that will you comfort and, and you will not be worried for, for that. And um, other question, Jose Bas, are Philly tasks finished? Uh, no, uh, Philly tasks are still ongoing uh, and they will be start again in season three next week. In Platino, what is the projection for Shuriken and how do you plan to help it evolve? Um, uh, well, so Shuri is at our heart, so it's not our project anymore, but obviously it's part of what was born uh, thanks to the Botwin ecosystem, and we will be helping them as much as we can. Uh, besides that, uh, they are in their own hands, they have really capable people that are really pushing a lot and what they, they want to do, and they will be for sure um, creating a lot of collaborations with other teams uh, or other projects in, in the Telegram space. Um, from that point of view, I think that they are really lucky because at the end in Telegram, what I have seen now is that it's very similar to Solana in the beginning where all the teams were collaborating with each other. So I think that that is still now happening in Telegram. So you are going to see a lot of activities that are for another game. So we provide visibility to other games, the other games we provide visibility to to Shuriken, and that is something that is going to bring more and more people to the to the game, and obviously make the potential success of, of Shuriken um, better and, and bigger, right? So from that point of view, I think that the evolution is is going to be good. Um, question from Juan: Do you plan to launch an online training program for developers using your APIs? So we are not planning on online training per se. We believe in learning by doing, or what we call code to earn. Um, so really, we are going to continue proposing activities for developers to really test their, their skills, their capacities, and really learn by uh, beating or, or working in, doing, in this challenge. Um, we are not going to provide a specific educational content for that. I think that the developers, they are tired of uh, a lot of online co uh, courses. Obviously, they are always useful, but it's more fun to just go ahead, get some documentation, some small instructions, uh, go by their own to figure out how to, how to uh, finish that challenge. And if you are stuck, come ahead, talk with peers, talk with other people that has been able to complete that challenge, explain what you have been stuck, and they can help you out. And from that interaction, it's going to be more uh, rich. And I think it's going to be a better learning experience. So in our case, our uh, online uh, uh, training is more related to learning by doing, and that is what we will continue to propose. Other question from Juan. Uh, how do you ensure transparency with partnerships? Very good questions. <laughs> Web3 is, is sometimes it's difficult to, to really find out if someone is kind of sketchy. Uh, so um, we try to do our best doing our due diligence when we collaborate with someone to find out uh, who they are and what they are doing in, in now and in the past. And, and sometimes cross the fingers because you don't. You don't know if they are really good or bad actors, but we try to focus on the on the good ones. The good part is that we have been in the, in the industry for, for quite some years, so uh, everybody we know each other, and we normally ask for references when we start collaborating with someone new. And if that person is not known by someone or that we trust, um, probably we are going to pass on that collaboration because uh, always there is a risk that we won't know probably we will not take uh, if we don't know exactly who that person is. So from that point of view, it's, it's easy on, on our regard. Um, other question from Juan, what's your primary focus, rapid growth or long-term solid building? <laughs> really good question. Um, definitely we are a, a long-term project. Uh, we are in a mission of, of really bringing the first million developers to Web3, and that is not going to happen overnight. But after said that, I really believe that we need a rapid growth. 
or fast growth, because that is one of the main uh, levers that we are going to have to accomplish our goals. So long-term project, but with a, a extreme sense of urgency. I think that that is important because um, we need more talent and we need more talent now. And as faster as we achieve uh, to attract this uh, developer talent, the better it will be. So definitely long-term project, but with a stream sense of urgency to grow fast, to be able to accomplish the goals that we have. Um, other questions, what are your growth projections for next year? Next year, we definitely, I really would like to see more than 10,000 developers uh, working in, in our platform. Obviously, if they would be 10,000 senseis, it would be amazing. I am not shooting for that. Uh, I wish, but you never know, right? Uh, but 10,000 developers of all levels will be, will be a great achievement. Uh, I think that there are less than 100,000 developers in Web3, so we should be able to grab a uh, new market for from the millions of developers that are out there that still don't know Web3. So we are targeting for this kind of numbers. And if we are able to achieve that, uh, from going from 10,000 to 100,000, it will be much easier. And from going from 100,000 to a million, it will be much easier. Also. It's going to be exponential. So from that point of view, that is kind of the main target that we have next year, because after that, the next step will be 100,000, the next step will be 1 million, and maybe that we can accomplish that in less than, than every time one year. So that is my my hope, and that is what we are working for. Um, next one. Um, uh, it's all from Juan. What role does education play in your strategy? I think that I answered you uh, before. It's more on the learning by doing, the workshops that we provide. So from that point of view, I think that is... Uh, uh, um, I also answered them that it's true that as we will be providing certifications of the, of the challenge or the level that the developer will be working on, probably we will include some uh, requisites to for these certifications and that kind of things um, maybe will require from developer an additional effort on, on training themselves on find some more information themselves to accomplish those certifications but um, you know that is how we believe learning by doing um, uh, do you have plans for developer certification <laughs> you were just <laughs> answering that uh, so yes uh, and it will be an official certification for developers who complete the challenge that we have and demonstrate basically their skills in building on, on a more platform. Um, another question, there are two more and we will finish what, uh, okay, the, almost the last one. How do you approach cultural differences and regional needs in expanding globally? Really great question. So um, this is, probably how we are trying to approach this. So this AMA, this time we are doing that in Spanish and in English. Um, and this is how uh, we are trying to connect more obviously with the Hispanic and Latin community that we have engaged. That is uh, right now the most numerous one. And we are doing also exactly the same English because that is how we are growing. Um, in the future, we will be adding more languages. Um, Probably myself, I will be able to, uh, to to talk directly in one more. But if not, we will find other people that will be expanding and, uh, and speaking for us in different languages. Uh, because I think that is the the right way to connect locally or more more directly with local communities. Um, in the other. The other part that we would like to work with is with our ambassadors, that they are really living everywhere uh, to start organizing specific events with them so they can connect with the local communities in a more face-to-face -face or more uh, intimate level. And I think that that is the right, the right approach. So uh, we will be working with ambassadors to bring Botun uh, to their communities uh, in whatever language they speak, whatever part of the world they live because that would be how we are really everywhere and we can connect at a local level, but at a, at a global reach. So that is how we, we try to approach that part. 
And the last question that I have, how do you handle requests for new APA features? Mm -hmm. So we are really open feedback uh, for uh, for feedback. All developers can through the Discord channel ask and request and comment on our APIs and also request if something is missing or they need in something specific for the project they are working on. Uh, we are really um, uh, uh, waiting for that kind of feedback. And uh, you will always receive an answer from our technical team. Uh, we always list the things that we we receive as a feedback and we try to estimate if that is the right thing to do for the next roadmap, if this is something that makes sense, does it make sense? So you are the ones that are using our APIs and you are the ones that find things that can be better. So please let us know. Um, we are not putting like a submission form that is going anywhere or that is going somewhere that you don't know. We are more direct than that. Reach out to our Discord channel, and send the, the information. And the technical team normally are in that Discord channel and reading this kind of feedback, and they are going to answer you directly. Thank you for your feedback. We are going to look at that. And whenever we look at that uh, specific request, we are going to answer you, hey, this is what we are going to do or not going to do because da, da, da. So um, very direct. So please um, let us know what you think and provide that feedback because it's very, very valuable. And I think that that is the last. It was the last question. So yeah, I think, well, this is all for the AMA of this month. Um, next week, we will do exactly the same format. Let us know if you like it. Uh, let us know your questions. Uh, if you think that I still need to answer uh, to any other questions, please let us know on your comments. Um, yeah, let's keep working and building together a great uh, ecosystem that we will be very proud in the future months and years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Bye.